to know the sweet truth? High fructose corn syrup is not the singular sugar behind America's obesity epidemic. High fructose corn syrup is a natural sweetener and preservative made from corn. Introduced in the 1970s, HFCS is now a fixed ingredient in products like soft drinks, baked goods, spaghetti sauces, yogurt, and canned and frozen fruits. Because it's the predominant sweetener in our food, high fructose corn syrup gets a lot of press. In recent decades, rising rates of obesity have corresponded with increased use of HFCS, and many medical professionals have been quick to notice the link. But in reality, true obesity results from an imbalance of calories eaten and calories burned. Simple math. And recent decades have also seen an increase in sedentary activities coupled with an increase in calorie consumption. The reality is that there's no concrete evidence that directly links high fructose corn syrup to weight gain, although Americans are eating too much sugar in general. In fact, the chemical makeup of HFCS is composed of either 42% or 55% fructose, with the remaining sugars being glucose. Table sugar, meanwhile, is made of 50% fructose and 50% glucose. In other words, the composition of the two sweeteners is nearly identical, and the body can't really tell the difference between them as they are metabolized basically in the same way. It should be noted that high fructose corn syrup is theoretically free of artificial and synthetic ingredients and, like sugar, has met the FDA's requirements for the use of the term natural. What I want you to remember is any and all kinds of sugar should be used in moderation. That's high fructose corn syrup or any other kind of sugar. That includes bad carbs like white bread, pasta, potatoes, and rice. Not totally eliminated, but eaten in moderation. The dietary guidelines for Americans suggest limiting sugar consumption to 32 grams daily based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Most women and children should even target less calories daily and therefore less sugar. Doing this, coupled with eating an overall healthy balanced diet and exercising regularly are the keys to fighting obesity. So yes, you can have your high fructose corn syrup sweetened small piece of cake. Just keep it to an occasional treat. I'm Dr. Corey A. Bear with your Weekend House Call.